What up, Photogs? I'm going to show you how to easily set Lightroom export presets so that you can quickly save your images for online use. All right, so we're here in Lightroom. I've got my finished photos and I want to send them off to Facebook land, but I don't want to just make them a full res image because that's way too large and Facebook will resize it for me and turn it into garbage. So I want to set my own presets so that every time I'm ready to export to Facebook, I can just go to my export presets and choose one option to automatically do it for me. So let's go to our export menu right here. You'll see I already have presets set, but you can go through and customize your own. So let's start by choosing a location. I have my pictures folder, which is where all of my photos go that I'm going to either print or send to Facebook. And I might create folders for each one of them if I want to do that. Let's do that. Let's create a folder called Facebook. Now we can rename them if we want. I suggest you do something like this. This way you have your name automatically saved on all of the images. Now Facebook is gonna change that, but this is just good practice because if you put these on your website or anywhere else, then if somebody is like Google searching your name, these images will show up. We wanna keep them as a JPEG keep the quality up. You can drop this down to like 80 if you want and you're still going to be totally fine or you can limit your file size to you know 200 kilobytes which is pretty good for online use. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Here is where the magic happens. So I want to set the long edge to 900 pixels at a resolution of 72. This means that 72 is our pixels per inch, which is ideal for any kind of online use. 300 pixels per inch is perfect for print, but that's way too much data for what we're doing. And 900 is a good size, because if you go like 1200 or 1500, then you could still be opening yourself up to letting Facebook downsize them for you, and again, turning them into garbage. Because they don't care what the images look like, they just want them tiny and using as little bandwidth as possible. It also prevents people from being able to download them and print them, because if you give them too large an image, they can do that. I leave this metadata information set, so I don't want to remove my personal info or my location info. Uh, you can totally set it to like copyright and contact only. This way, your metadata is embedded into the image, and if anyone steals it later, then you can prove that you took this photo. Uh, it also helps people contact you. If they see the image like, who took this thing? They can look at the image properties and find out who you are and know how to find you. Lastly, you can set your watermarks, whether you want them on the left or right or whatever sort of settings you have. But I don't really want a watermark on this image because it advertises an event and I don't want to take away from the actual event. Now I'm going to go to add right down here and save this as a preset. We'll just call it Facebook. Create and export. And it's done. So we'll go to my pictures folder. And in our Facebook folder, we now have this image saved as 600 by 900, which is pretty sweet. Now I'll show you how quickly it is to use that preset. So I'm going to delete this, jump back into Lightroom, and if you control click, go to export, we have an option right here for Facebook. All you have to do is click on it and it automatically does that. You want to apply it to a bunch of them. Let's select all of these, export, Facebook, sure because we already have one under that name saved in there. And now we have all of them saved to the specifications that we had asked for, right? They're all 600 by 900. Pretty 
Sweet. So there you go, Photogs. Now you can easily set your Lightroom export presets so that you never have to touch them again. You can just export photos exactly how you want them in just one click. Thanks again for tuning in to another episode. I hope this one was helpful. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below, and if you haven't already, swing by our private Facebook community, Photogs Unite. Don't forget the exclamation mark at the end. You'll get all kinds of tips and tricks, be a part of a really supportive community, and every Monday I do a live Q&A sesh where I answer all of your questions and drop knowledge bombs on everyone. So until next time, Photogs, keep shooting, and remember that every photo you take brings you one step closer.